Why do you do this? And this shift in weather totally stresses me out. And this is the story of me making a series of bad decisions during a very short time. My name is Robin Donahov and on this channel I'm sharing my story as a storyteller. All to inspire you to find and tell stories yourself. A few days ago, we set out to film a new video for this channel while also testing out the concept a bit. We were supposed to make one film and one behind the scenes film explaining the process of making the film. At least that was the plan. But on this day, so much went wrong. I realized I kind of failed the whole thing. I learned some really valuable lessons. And in this video, I'm gonna share them with you so that you or me will hopefully not make these mistakes again. So let's do this. I know it's hard to believe, but the biggest challenge today is gonna be to find somewhere where it looks really cold. And this is December 27th in Stockholm, and it should be easy to find somewhere where it looks cold, but we have plus two degrees and uh, all, almost all the ice is melted, which makes it a little bit tough but we will do what we can let's see if we can find these like here welcome thank you because this was the first time we did this i choose a location that was close in stockholm and a story that's not too big i believe that my years of experience as a filmmaker would take me quite a long way on this youtube journey but it turns out that it counts for almost nothing when trying to do what i was trying to do on this day you ready I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm not ready. And this is a bit worrying because the whole concept of my channel is what I was trying to do this day. Finding stories and making films out of them for YouTube while also documenting the process that goes into it. And now it feels like I have to relearn everything. We are picking up Erik and he's gonna swim in, in ice cold water while he's eating ice cream. It is his thing. Tjena, tjena. Tjena, tjena. <coughs> det ska finnas is precis för badet jag brukar bada men jag tror inte det är så mycket is. Anna, jag tror det är mest där vi kan fixa sjöstugan eftersom det har varit tjocka is där. So we drive to the location, we carry the gear down from the car to the lake. Do you feel okay? Yes. yes. We got all the gears with us. We just need some ice. White shoes, perfect. Grey shoes, perfect. <laughs> And we go out on the dock and we start preparing. I have a way of losing things. I put them somewhere. I think it's a good place. And then they disappear. I don't know. I don't know what happens. So we start with getting some uh, establishment shots of Eric walking. Amazingly enough, he's not freezing. I'm going to take a first frame from him. This is a little bit deppy out here. Kan du backa några steg och så gå förbi. Varsågod. And once Eric is ready to go into the water, the rain comes. And to make matters worse, Eric told us that he could stay in the water for about 10 minutes, which is an insanely long amount of time, considering the water is about 1 degree Celsius. But it's not a long time to make a film. I was standing there on the dock, wiping raindrops off the monitor and off the lens and trying to protect the camera while still shooting and why do you do this this shift in weather totally stresses me out and this is the story of me making a series of bad decisions during a very short time here are the main ones number one i skipped the 50 millimeter but i got the drone i thought it was a good idea to not change lenses i thought i could get all the shots with the 35 millimeter lens we'll be close enough to do everything on the 35 millimeter, I hope. Of course, it's technically possible that you need that kind of variation in focal length to get a good contrast in the images when you put it together. Also, I forgot to take an extreme close-up of the ice cream. I forgot to get close-ups of his eyes. Where is the emotion? How does he feel? All that kind of stuff that you need to bring emotion into a story, I just totally forgot about it. Number two, I sent a drone up in the air without checking what ND filter was on it since the last time I used it. It turned out that there was an ND filter for a bright sunny day and this day was not bright and sunny at all, which means there was not enough light to shine through this ND filter. 
and the filters are like sunglasses for your lenses it limits the amount of light that gets in i was looking at the image on my screen and from the drone and seeing this is way too dark so i cranked up the iso which makes the image is a lot noisier you get the light but the image gets noisy which is a bad trade-off especially in drones so the image turned out to be completely unusable and the whole time i spent flying the drone was a waste of time number three my focus was split between making the main film and the behind the scenes film and this complicated stuff in my brain because i tried to do two things at the same time i didn't give isaac a good enough brief on what we needed to do for the behind the scenes film and without a plan it was very hard for him to do my vision because he didn't know what it was. Isaac never let me do this again without giving you a proper brief okay. So what should I have done differently? Well the first super clear thing is that I should have planned this so much better. It kind of hurts my heart a bit to realize that I failed the planning because when I do films for clients, the planning part is the one I stress the most. And I say that at least 50% nice. of the result of the film comes from the planning. We have our opening shot. But for some reason, on this day, when I was doing films for myself, I didn't think this was important, or I forgot about it, or I thought I could wing it, which is kind of stupid, because it's too much to wing it. Also, I should really have created a shot list for the main film. It's so easy to make one. If you don't have enough time, you can use ChatGPT to generate one for you, and it's amazing. Look at this. I actually did this before this shoot. I had it on my phone somewhere, but I couldn't access it, and for some reason, I didn't spend one minute to figure out why I couldn't access it. I just kept going. And for the behind the scenes film, I should have had a clear message. What do I want to say with this film? To who and what's the point of making it? I should have had this all before getting myself into the car that day. Without proper planning, whatever obstacles you run into on set will make you fail because if you're not prepared for it and you don't know what you're really supposed to do, these things are gonna throw you off balance and you're gonna make bad decisions that's gonna make your material suffer in the end. So the conclusion is, even if I have many years of experience as a filmmaker, making two films at the same time in a rainy day is stretching I, it too thin. I was framing the shots on this monitor and the rain and the wiping, wiping the monitor in the rain had caused me to zoom it to 1.6x, which means that all the, frame, all the framing of the shots I did was on a tighter frame than it actually was and uh, we'll see how that looks in the end, but I think it's gonna be okay. I'm still learning this and I'm going to fail again and again and again, but making mistakes is a part of the process and that is what makes us better, right? And during the circumstances, the film turned out pretty good, I think. We might make some uh, pickups and maybe I'll edit a second version. I don't know yet, we will see. So, the learnings really quickly. Number one, plan, plan, plan everything. Number two, ND filters on the drone. Always check it before you take off. Number three, weather happens, deal with it. Number four, when everything fails, just remember that you need a beginning, a middle and an end to make things work. If you have that, you'll be okay. Number five, always be ready to learn from your mistakes because there are so many mistakes to make in this world and you can always get better. How do you feel? How do you feel, Eric? I'm super grateful that I made all these mistakes here in Stockholm where I can reshoot and I can fix it afterwards and not on a big project in a faraway country somewhere where I make all the mistakes and then come back home for the editing and realize what I've done and it's too late because that would really suck. So that's a good thing. Always try your concept before doing it. Thank you so much for watching and if you liked this video please hit the subscribe button down there and let's not make these mistakes again. Not you, not me, okay? And uh, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>